boarding and disembarking using the Aircraft Disabled Passenger Lift or DPL. An Aircraft Disabled Passenger Lift or DPL is used to enable a passenger with mobility restrictions to board and disembark the aircraft when they cannot safely use the aircraft stairs from the tarmac. For instructions on the aisle wheelchair or how to safely transfer passengers from their wheelchair to the aisle wheelchair, please see the MJD Foundation's videos on these topics. The DPL should only be used by trained airline or ground crew staff and in accordance with operating procedures. On aircraft such as the Embraer Brasilia and when using the slimline aisle wheelchair, the following procedure is recommended. The passenger is to board first, ahead of everyone else, and disembark at the destination after everyone else. First in, last off. If a two-person transfer is required, the person who will do the heavier of the two-person lift should board the aircraft first. Airline staff will push the passenger forwards into the DPL. Ensure the passenger folds their arms over their chest or lap. Sometimes the casters get caught. If you take some weight off the front wheels, they may realign themselves. The staff member operating the DPL will close the canvas flap. Ensure the passenger is ready and raise the DPL. The DPL is then pushed into the aircraft door and gently lowered down. When positioned within the aircraft, staff will unclasp the canvas and pull the aisle wheelchair into the aircraft backwards. The wheelchair needs to be positioned beside the seat the passenger is allocated to. The passenger cannot sit in an emergency exit row. It is difficult and tight to manoeuvre the aisle wheelchair, but it can be done. Please note that with the traditional aisle wheelchair, it may not fit down the aisle. Therefore, it needs to enter the aircraft forwards. The second escort should board the aircraft so that there is now a person behind and in front of the passenger if they require a two-person transfer. Throughout this process, make sure the passenger does not reach out to stabilise themselves on objects as they risk injuring themselves. Transfer the passenger into their allocated seat using either a stand and step transfer or two-person transfer. Watch your head. It is a small space and easy to bang your head when you lift. Secure the passenger's seatbelt. Consider the use of Velcro straps to provide more truncal stability in the case of turbulence and for landing. Push the aisle wheelchair back into the DPL as it stays at the airport with the DPL. If you are unsure or don't feel confident, ask for more information and training. For further information, please contact the MJD Foundation.